Hi, I'm Jane. I love to garden. I live in Utah, zone six, up against the Wasatch Mountains. My last frost date is around Mother's Day. So why did I buy a coleus plant? Well, besides it looking absolutely gorgeous, look at all these colors. There's three different colors here, three different types. This one in the back is ready for me to take a cutting. So I like to buy them early. This was only $10 as I eat it. <laughs> this was only $10 over at Smith's, right in the neighborhood. So if you buy them early and take cuttings of them, then you can have them for your planters when the growing season comes. Let me show you this. Look at these beautiful colors. I love it. Well, I want more of that. And I want more of this brilliant red color. And I want more of this one. So why would I buy a coleus only mid-March? Because this can't go outside until almost June. But if you take cuttings of a coleus, you are going to have so many more to put into your pots. Coleus like shade. They like hot shade. So we're definitely hot here in Utah. I am so excited. So these ones have been in here for only, is this the week one? These have only been in here for less than a week. Let me show you. Only a couple days and we've already got roots. Coleus are one of the easiest things to take roots from. So come along, I'm going to show you how to do this. Not hard. We have about two more months before I can even put these outside. So this potted plant used to be giant like the last one. And all I did was take cuttings and put them in a mason jar. Look at that green one. Can you see the green? Oh, it's so pretty. These are going to make wonderful accents foliage to my shaded pots. Some coleus can handle sun, but I wouldn't put it in direct afternoon sun where it's just going to get fried. But these are all going to be shade planters. You can turn a $10 potted plant from the indoor potted plant section at Smith's into many plants. And then you're going to be able to have all of your pots in the summertime with these gorgeous flowers. They're not really flowers. This is just a foliage plant. Once it starts flowering, you want to pinch the flowers because then it will send all its energy into seed. All right, let me show you how to do this. Not hard. This is my daughter Kim. Hi. She's going to help me take some cuttings on this coleus. Have you ever taken cuttings on a coleus before? I don't think I have. You've done cuttings on other things, right? Uh, I think. Well, this is not hard. You can do it. Anatomy of a cutting. The very center is called the stem. Mm -hmm. And anything the leaves come out of is called a leaf node. Node. Okay? I'm going to cut below this leaf node so I can do two, but I'll do that one in a minute. And what you do is you have your little cutting because you went under a leaf node. Then you take off the bottom I feel leaves. Like this part's like a little bit violent and you just rip it off. I know, right? Band-aid. It is off. hard because you've had this giant beautiful thing. But this is how you take a cutting. And you can even go even further and cut half the leaves. 
So why would you cut that many leaves off of a cutting? Because so it saves energy to grab the little exactly. stubbles, roots. I don't know what they're called. No, that's fine. So in a cutting, you want it to have all the energy, like you said, to push out roots. Mm -hmm. Cutting Coleus cuttings are one of the most easiest things to cut because you don't really have to do all this top growth stuff. You cut it, you stick it in water, it'll root. And it'll root in about a week. But I want to show you these root riots. So I got these root riots, and I've been doing dahlia cuttings in them. And honestly, in Utah, they dry out way too fast. So having them under a humidity dome will really help. So I have this take root. Honestly, you don't have to use this for coleus cuttings, but I just wanted to show you this is good for um, dahlia cuttings too. So you take and you go like this and you get some of that powder on it. Is that just like to speed up the process to make it stronger? Both. Oh. Exactly both. But like I said, you don't really need it. So there's a hole in here. We're going to take and we're going to push it in. And you don't want to push too hard because it'll no, break it. Break this and then this little guy will go under the lights. But I want to show you an even simpler way. For this one, super simple. Go in here. Go under a leaf node. Strip these bottom leaves. You don't even have to cut the top, really. And stick it in water. Ta-da! Your cutting's done. I want you to do both. Is that okay? okay? So this is the easiest way. Put this in a south-facing window. You're good to go. Or you can put it under lights if you have them. But you're going to change out the water every four days or so. I mean, if you forget, it's not the end of the world. But what you're gonna, what's going to happen is at the nodes where the leaves, the leaves come out out of the node, you're going to get roots. So now I'm going to have Kim try this. Our last frost date is not for two more months. So we have two months to play with foliage. So we're fine if we cut it all the way down. The plant will still have time to push growth. You could probably take several cuttings off of that plant by the time it can go outside. And then you're going to triple and quadruple your amount of coleus that you can get. Here? Yep. Under a node. Now what would you do to this one? Are you want to put this in the root right or you want to put this in the... That one because I made it smaller. Oh, okay, weird. sounds good. Muffin thing. So what are you doing, Kim? I'm making it less leafy. Good job. And what I like to do, so more energy because concerned. these things, come look over here, Rob. These things dry out fast because we're in Utah. I like to dunk it all the way into the water first. Okay, you need to put it in rooting hormone. So I put it in a different cap so it won't contaminate the entire thing. Good job. And the stem can be kind of wobbly. So you're when you push wobbly. it in, don't push too hard. If you break it, it's okay. But you don't push too hard. Even a little bit in will give it roots. Like that. Oh, did it break? It, so it did. So now, because it broke, it's okay. So now you can cut. Just cut it shorter. Cut it shorter, work. and you would go up one leaf node, right there. But because you did that, now you showed everybody else what to do. Yeah. Now put it. Totally intentional. <laughs> totally. Now put it in here. Can okay. name this guy Bob? Yes, he can be Bob. Bob Ross. Because <laughs> it's colorful? Yeah. Okay, Bob then Ross. you're going to have two of them. And in a minute, so there's Bryn. You're going to put them over here. And in a minute, we'll put them under there. Now do the normal ones. Uh, and I mean normal by easy. You're going to go long stems on this one because you so can just dip it in here. The yeah. Glass. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, you could probably get two out of this long guy. What if three. you put the whole thing in? Would it just grow out of every node? It would. Cool. It would. Would that be like considered good or bad? It would make it a stronger plant to have a lot of roots. So then you stripped it down. Now what? You don't need to strip down anymore. You're good. Oh. And then you just stick it in water. Ta-da! Ta One? Lindsay, oh. it's really not hard. You can do it. Oh, right. right there. Right there. Good job. Lindsay, you did it. There we go. It's like a little 
wonky guy. Look, like, Linz. You're doing bone. great. So you can either cut them off or rip them off. Now, I love teaching my kids how to garden. It is so much fun. That one's beautiful. Nip. Is it possible for me to Nip. do this one again in the potting soil? Well? Nip. The rooting, the root, right? Yeah, because I messed up again. Nip. 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 And that part. That one's a bit kind of, kind of, kind of small. This is pretty fun, actually. I knew you'd like it. And you guys should probably try it too. You don't know which way a cutting goes. Can I get rid of this part? The nodes go up. So if I was like this. to show you upside down, see how the nodes are going down? So that way you know if you even don't have leaves on it, you um, can still use it. Here. Yep. Exactly. Yep. Right here. Mhm. Mm Sock, ready to go. Like little butterflies. Yep. Now let's take it over here <laughs> okay. and put it in so some root riot. I have three that were too small for anything. So this is the hormone first. Ah. Awesome. The rooting hormone. Guys, try and look. Look at that oh. lovely, lovely uh -huh. there. Okay, do the next one on camera, please. Sorry, I got excited. Well, they're fun, aren't they? Yeah, they are, and I got excited, so I did it without you. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> you're good. Okay. So, so then you're going to put it in the hole. Um, oh, that one did really well, fish. huh? And oh, is there a giraffe on my plants? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, let me get you one more root you need one more. Look how thick Mom, this guy is. Mom, you just ruined it. And so this is what I call perfect. What are they? They are cuttings. Cuttings? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is a cutting? So it's something where you cut a plant and you stick it into this hole, into that, mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. And then when it grows, it'll root up. <gasps> Smarty. And, and then it's its own plant. Now these ones are ready to go into the humidity dome. I've been in here for about a week and the little dahlia longer. So do we see any roots? One little tiny root, actually. And they did really well in just potting soil in a container. This had tomatoes in it. On a heat mat under a grow light. So now it's our turn to put these in. So now we have some cute little coleus cuttings in some root riots. Because I live in Utah, you want to make sure these are really moist. You want to dunk them in water. And then you want to get them under a humidity dome, and you can even put them on heat. But what I'm trying to tell you is coleus are so easy, you can put them in water and they'll root. But we wanted to play with these. So come down here. This container right here is on a plate on a heat mat. So we're going to just kind of place them all in here. This is actually a dahlia cut in right here. gonna do this and if you see them drying out too much put some water in the container so it can soak up some water but the humidity dome really does work so it's even dripping water right now so this is just a croissant top and it's super easy because it was free with our food so it just goes right over the top snug it on in there And now they're ready to go so stay tuned we're going to show you some updates on when they root and how to up pot them bye these are dahlia cuttings in a root riot in potting soil and then in the same humidity dome i have a couple of the peppa do peppers trying to germinate that's in a different video so go try some coleus cuttings, they are not hard. Whether you put them in water, whether you put them in a root riot, or whether you put them in soil, they will work. In the next video, I will show you when they have better roots and pot it up to a bigger size. <laughs> just like that. All right, put it in there. Okay. Two, three. Just have fun with it.